I think that most people who watch this channel generally agree that uh, regular sunlight exposure is very beneficial for your health in many aspects and it's going to strengthen your immunity, help to regulate circadian rhythms and uh, other things. But there are specific wavelengths of light that you get from sunlight that has an additional health benefit. Hey, my name is Seabland and in this video when I talk about the longevity and health benefits of infrared light. First, let's talk about the solar spectrum itself. The solar spectrum is divided into ultraviolet light, visible light and infrared light. The visible light is the color of the rainbow that you can actually visibly see. Ultraviolet light and infrared light is something that you can't detect with your eyes. You can check out my other videos about the effects of light on your overall health, but essentially blue light and green light, they regulate things like your wakefulness. The amber and red lights, they can help with more relaxation and anti-inflammatory effects as well as melatonin production. Infrared light is divided into near-infrared and far-infrared. Near-infrared starts from 760 nanometers reaching up until the 1000s and far-infrared is beyond that. The most common source of infrared light that people get exposed to is the sunlight. But nowadays you can also use infrared sonars and different kinds of light emitting devices to get that infrared light as well. When regular traditional sonars work by heating your body up from the outside, then infrared sonars work by directing infrared wavelengths onto your body and uh, heating up the body from the inside out. Infrared light is able to penetrate the skin and deeper into the tissue. The blue light stays relatively on top of the epidermal layer and then uh, red light and infrared light specifically, they can penetrate deeper into the skin tissue and they can even reach uh, your tendons and joint tissue. <laughs> Near infrared light therapy has also been used in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. And the way this works is that the near infrared light is able to penetrate the skull and reach your brain essentially. And there that uh, light can help with uh, mitochondrial function. It can stimulate neurogenesis and uh, synaptogenesis, which helps to grow new brain cells, improves the vascular function of the brain and stimulates endothelial cells, etc. So just, yeah, the brain the functioning of the brain improves and at the same time the near infrared light can also reduce the inflammation that the brain uh, may be under especially if you're you know consuming some sort of a bad diet or you're suffering from another comorbidity that causes excess inflammation from the anti-aging side then uh, infrared radiation has also been used as an effective way to help with uh, photo aging skin photo aging and pigmentation so it can be used to uh, treat wrinkles and uh, stimulate collagen synthesis. Feel how soft my skin is. So there are many direct longevity benefits that you get from infrared light. But for me specifically, the most interesting thing about infrared light that I like is the aspect of how it affects your melatonin production. In my opinion, melatonin is the most powerful anti-aging hormone your body has. And it you know does more than just like, regulate sleep. It also regulates DNA repair, autophagy, apoptosis, just reduction of oxygen stress, immune system. So all these longevity pathways that we talk about, NAD, autophagy, that they are in some way linked to melatonin as well. We know that red light is also promoting melatonin production so uh, red light therapy has been seen to basically help with melatonin production and when you look at the natural circadian rhythm then the red light that you get exposed to before uh, sun sunset uh, that is what uh, also helps with melatonin and the blue light is what you know suppresses melatonin so red light and infrared light can be beneficial for helping your body to produce more melatonin uh, especially in the evening this 2019 study also gave a pretty good overview about the effects of uh, sunlight and near infrared light specifically on melatonin production as you can see when your body especially the head and uh, the skull get exposed to sunlight then you know the near infrared light will penetrate through the skull and it's going to reach the gray matter in the brain and uh, that is what also helps with the production of serotonin and melatonin and everything else that is you know what you get exposed to naturally when you are outside in uh, in sunlight big red standing by so this is part of the reason why getting exposed to sunlight throughout the day is so beneficial at least you know part of it we know that sunlight helps with endorphins it helps with mood and over energy production etc but in my opinion this is also quite critical in terms of the anti-aging and longevity side so you need to have melatonin to repair and recover from the daily activities and to lower the oxidative stress etc to conduct, conduct the longevity pathways in your sleep and one way to basically facilitate that you need the exposure to the near infrared uh, light that will help you to produce melatonin at night 
Of course, this is problematic for some places where you don't get access to that much sunlight in the winter time and uh, early autumn even, the uh, sunlight uh, decreases significantly and you don't get exposed to that much near infrared light anymore. Sucks! That's why I think that, you know, using maybe like infrared sauna or even uh, these uh, red light therapy devices is very beneficial. You know, first of from all aspects of anti-aging, like it's going to first help with the aesthetical side of the aging. You're going to help with wrinkles and collagen synthesis, skin elasticity. From the physical longevity side, you help with joint integrity, uh, cardiovascular health uh, risk factors, and even the brain health is benefited from, from that. And uh, lastly, from the circadian rhythm side, which is linked to all autology, NAD, growth hormone, you also produce melatonin at night and uh, that is going to be one really good way to basically biohack your uh, light exposure any time of the day. Winning. The brand of red light therapy devices that I use is uh, Bond Charge. They use the same wavelengths that they've used in studies. If you want to try out the Bond Charge red light therapy devices with the near infrared, uh, then uh, head over to bondcharge.com forward slash seamland and use the code seam15 for 15% off. The way I use it is that uh, I sit in front of the red light therapy device with infrared on for maybe like 10 or 15 minutes a day and uh, yeah I do notice that my mood is better my energy production is better and uh, generally it does have a positive effect on your skin and uh, skin quality as well you definitely don't want to overdo this because you know it's still causing some aspects of radiation I wouldn't recommend doing it any longer than 20 or 30 minutes a day the same way it applies to natural sunlight not enough sunlight is bad too much sunlight is also bad so the optimal amount is somewhere in the middle all right, that's it for this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.